Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. And hey man, we're back here for a special video again today. Let me go back to the beginning though. You guys know how the builder base is dead? <laughs> it's like RIP in, in every possible way that term could be used. Clash said they're going to rebuild it. They're going to bring it from its grave, rise from its grave. Is it going to be better? Are they actually going to fix it? Now, when they first announced this, we got on, on the phone with my buddy Judo and we got on a video talked about, hey, what do you know? What do you know? What do you, what do you think? We know way more now, way more. Let's call them up. Here we go. Thank you so much for having me, my friend. I have read the same post you have. We know versus battle is okay. being removed, but fewer, stronger troops and potential troop abilities. What do you think of that, Beaker? I think it's exciting. Okay, when you first saw fewer troops, though, you got freaked out, right? I know you did, because I did. I was like, fewer troops? That doesn't sound fun at all. Well, yeah, <laughs> it does sound fun, actually, because I enjoyed the Builder Base when it was first released, but I didn't know if they okay. meant fewer, stronger troops or fewer stronger troops like that could be taken in two ways but then they did say right. fewer but stronger troops less troops on the battlefield less chaotic but being able to control it with the abilities which they shared the prototype gameplay of as well so even though this isn't guaranteed so i think it's they must be feeling like either confident or they want some feedback on this to share some gameplay. I don't think I understood any of this until I saw the footage. We're going to have it right on the screen right now. There was only a few, but those abilities, man, like, okay, the bomber, <laughs> dude is like a bowler in this, yep. right? He's got like the bouncing bomb. That's such a good idea. The only thing that freaked me out, like I said, there's only one of every troop here. Like in, in, each, in each icon, there's one giant, one bomber one cannon cart i mean i guess they look really powerful though they do and i get the feeling from this that they may not have the abilities for all troops that's how it kind of read because they did say yeah. raged barbarians with four troops per slot was their favorite okay. amount for that troop so maybe you know it is just for the stronger ones because if you think about it the battle machine as it is i already spam that thing like crazy you know, imagine yeah. all of the troop ones as well. Like, it's just going to be pretty hectic, it might get. Yeah, I do, I do like it, and I agree. The bomber one is cool, but I think, the, honestly, the cannon cart is definitely my favorite. From your perspective, it looks like it turns into a mortar, right? Or like Correct. an artillery. You could press the ability, and it would have greater range in order to outrange right. a defense, right? I mean, that's awesome. Stuart, the game lead, made a really good point here that he said they want to move away from spam style attacks, whereas this will yeah. be a little bit more tactful, which I think could lend itself to more pro players. And especially because this is a PvP element, and I get the feeling that's why it was added in the first place for the competitive side of things. Now, what did you think about the giant and the baby dragon? I'm interested in this because I studied that video and watched it very carefully. I, I, I tried to zoom in. <laughs> I saw the person who was doing it. They were pressing something. I don't know what it does. I don't see it doing anything. That's what I figured is maybe the giant like is quicker to get to its defense or it slams down and does more damage or something, but I couldn't see yeah. that from the footage. They also said, you know, share any ideas of troop abilities that you would like to see. And, you know, maybe that's oh, one man. of the reasons they're doing this as well, because they could provide us with what we want. That would be nice. nice. I know. I love the idea. Like you said this to me earlier. Hey, Clash was very clear that we might scrap all this. This, this is just a prototype. We don't know what's going to actually happen. I kind of think that's cool. Because like if they go down a path and they're like, nah, I'm not really feeling this. I love that they might not be scared to be like, hey, that's not working. Let's think differently. And also just thinking about like every one of your favorite troops having an ability. Yeah. What's the hog rider going to be? I want to see them have like Thor's hammer, right? Just like throw it at something. <laughs> it stuns the thing. Have it stun the building and then maybe the hog flies over to and grabs hammer. Come on. I'm thinking more Mortal Kombat. Get over <laughs> yeah, here. Right. The hog glider. Right, exactly. like, that would be brilliant. Yeah. And we talked about this in the mm -hmm. video last time. We think the builder base should have yeah. its own unique identity, which is what he said. They don't want to add spells for that reason. So the troop abilities yeah. is kind of a replacement i had posted about this on twitter and darian instantly responded to me saying this is just a yeah. prototype don't get your hopes up which I, you know i respect let's keep everyone's uh everyone's expectations where they should be but i think it's really cool yeah. that they are open and sharing this 
and then can get some valuable feedback from the community. And on that point, Beaker, obviously you mentioned the Hog Rider. Is that the yeah. ability you would be most looking forward to? Or out of the current builder base troops, is there anything you would like to see? The troop I want to see what they do with the most is, of course, Hog Rider. Yeah. Video games for me, I think a lot about like status effects, things burning, things freezing, things electrified, things like blown back with, with a wind effect. I mean, that's like classic video game stuff and they do that a little bit in Clash. I think they could lean on that a lot more too. Even like you said, just taking aspects from the spells or other troops, you know, you could have the Night Witch who would spawn bats specifically when you pressed it, or maybe she actually spawned ground skeletons when you pressed the ability. So naturally she makes yeah. air bats and then spawns ground ones to protect her. Maybe the Super Pekka, cool. when you press the ability, it then has like a pulsing effect, like the Electro Titan, just taking that effect across to the Builder Base oh. or something. And one thing that just came into my head as well, I'm interested in your thoughts on this. In the prototype gameplay, it shows the troop abilities regenerating and regenerating over and over. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure whether I like that, actually. What, what do you think here? Because the thought oh, comes into man, my head that it. it takes away from the battle machine, and maybe you should just get one troop ability per troop. Like, every cannon cart, if you deploy three cannon carts, you could use one troop ability per cannon cart, but then you only get it once, and the battle machine keeps resetting. Because then what's special about okay. the battle machine, and are the troops then too overpowered if you get multiple abilities? Do you then have to control, like, seven different hero abilities at the same time, and does it then get a bit chaotic? I totally hear what you're saying. I think if, it, if it's really powerful... But I also love the idea of chaos. Like, I always think that we need more True. chaos in Clash. The, the main base has enough chaos, right? This is Town Hall 15. We've got so many troops and heroes, it's ridiculous. The builder base, it's never going to be that. And they're actually pulling back even more from that. But the abilities, just spamming abilities, that sounds so fun. I don't know. There's something about that clock <laughs> coming back around and waiting for it. Like, ah, I need the ability. I need the ability. And then, just boom. Just pressing it like that. You got to admit. <laughs> you got to admit that's fun. You got to admit that's fun. Yeah, I mean, I see I that. I just, it's really tough to, to know just by looking at the gameplay. That yeah. was just a thought that literally popped into my head as we were discussing. So, hey, I figured I would mention it. I also want to get your take on this speaker because for me, one of the most probably exciting things is what they didn't say. So right at the end, I'm going to read this to you. Hopefully it won't be too long before my next post where I will maybe explain why we weren't testing against a Builder Hall 9 base in the above video. That's pretty intriguing. I know. I know. Come on, so, Stuart. <laughs> why leave us hanging like that? <laughs> I was going to max my Builder base soon, right? Just say I did it. So they're going to hack that out of the game? Like they're going to take a couple, maybe a couple Builder Halls off the top? I mean... I don't know, what do you read from that? I feel like they're gonna take, they're gonna lower the levels of stuff. Just trying to think objectively about the information we know, they like the idea of a small village, right? Focused yeah. tactical fun is what they said, why they're dialing back the troop abilities. So it kind mm -hmm. of makes sense that they want to shrink things down. I don't know, how do they go about doing that? And I will say everybody has been asking me, I'm sure they've been asking you as well, what is going to happen with the sixth builder? Now, I can't say for sure, yeah. I know you can't either, but I would be very, very surprised if they took that six builder away because they would have a lot of unhappy clashes. And I'm holding my hand up, Beaker. I don't think yeah. they could remove that six builder. They, they just couldn't. No. So no. I, I feel confident in saying it would still be there. Obviously, I can't say for 100% sure. Absolutely, Otto is a character in the game, right? Like he's, he's the thing in the builder base that people care about. You, yeah. can't, you can't take that off. It's like taking the gem mine and, and auto. Like, it would just... What is left? Nothing. So, one of the coolest characters they put in the game, I think he should quite literally become a hero someday. Plus, six builders is awesome. You work so hard to get that. Now, the question is, exactly. how is that progression going to change? Like, the, the way you get auto is definitely going to change. We can say that for sure, right? The cannon card is one of the troops they showed, right? And that is the yeah. only troop that has a requirement for auto. So I don't know True. for sure that they will change. Maybe they could keep the same requirements because they could then run into the issue of they make it easier or harder, people that have already done yeah. it. And like, I don't know, 
it's it's a tricky one, but I'm I, I'm confident in my feeling that they will keep Otto. But just the reason I was talking about that is like, where do they draw the line? Because you asked me about are they shrinking the builder base, hacking this off it or that? But you know, yeah, they're not going to get rid of Otto. They're not gonna. But if they're shrinking the builder base. How do yeah. they do that? And I, I think that's where <laughs> the most, go. that's where the most intriguing part of the, you know, that sentence lies for me. So I look forward to the next know, one, man. Stuart. Come on, bring it on. I can't believe you're not a max builder hole. I, I've had a max build. I'm <laughs> not trying to rub it in here, buddy. Like I've had a max no, builder hole for like, I don't know, two years. <laughs> I've done everything except for some of the walls and this Teslas. I love the look of level seven Teslas, so I just never went past those. But otherwise, everything's done except for the walls. The I walls are expensive, bro. You yeah. know they. I, I will say on my <laughs> second account, I, I, I've not even. I got the sixth builder and that's it. Like I haven't even looked at yeah. the builder base. Exactly. Essentially, I did it once. It's maxed once, and that's it. Maybe I should start playing it again and getting it upgraded so that we're ready for when this update lands. I think I'm gonna do the same, man. If I have this completely done and then they take some of the stuff away, I'm still gonna feel that achievement. Like I wanna have the screenshot that says, hey, I was maxed once, but that's all I want anyway. I wanna be maxed for one day and then give me something new to do. And it sounds like that's probably what's gonna <laughs> that's happen, That's what happens right? anyway, like, right? That happens in the yeah, main village. Anyway. It's not gonna be any different yeah, yeah, yeah. in the database, buddy. <laughs> exactly. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to ask you. Did you sure. notice that the troops, actual icons and the troops themselves are numbered in this video? So it's like the first troop has a one, the second has a two, three, four, five, six. Do you notice that? Oh, I do notice that. And it's not the level. No. Yeah, I think like, I just it, overlooked that. That is very interesting. Is it, the, oh, it's just possibly... the army camp position, right? So there's six army camps and there's right. it goes from one to six. Right. So it's just telling you in slot number six, you have the cannon. There's just some Eagle icons Eye here that we've Beaker. never seen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. There, there's just some icons that we've never seen, like the little sword, which I mean, I, I believe it means activate ability. And there's a little yes. clock saying that it's coming back around. I just like to see this new stuff. And hey, maybe they're going to scrap it. Maybe they're going to use half this and not the other half. Who knows? But hey, it's it's good ideas, man. And I'm excited to see it. I think it's a good sign. We're going to get something here. Builder base is kind of dead, but hopefully it comes back to life. We'll see. Yeah, well, they're redesigning it and... I think that in itself tells you everything you need to know. So thank you again for having for me, sure. Beaker. It's great to discuss this with you and I look forward to more information. Maybe we can even do it again when we get some more. I know, man. It's kind of like we're building a tradition here. We'll see. Maybe once we actually get it, we'll have to do some, some builder base collabs. You, <laughs> we've never done that. So we'll nope. see. <laughs> Tick that cool, one man. Hey, it was list. good to hear from you. It was good to hear from you, man. Uh, and, and you guys at home, thanks for coming out. If you liked the video, let us know in the comments below and we will see you guys right here next time on Beaker's lab and Judo's lab. Well, it's not a lab, but you know. <laughs> yeah. Peace, guys. Have a good one, everyone.